All right, guys, welcome back to Stone Block here with Super Turtle. We're going to have to make this a quick episode, guys. I'm kind of pinched on time, but as you can see from my hand, we're going to be doing something with some cobblestone today. So I am pretty excited about this. So we're going to go ahead and make up a bunch of porcelain clay here, and we'll make up like this much just to be safe. I don't know how much this much is, but it's that much. And so I realize now, with the error of my ways, I can just go ahead and shift click that in there. Okay, so for some reason we made 46 total. Let's throw it in this really good furni. Booyah. Okay, so down here, as you can see, I've cleared out some room. I also moved all the sugar cane. And by moved it, I mean just put it in my inventory. Um, don't know, don't have a good spot for it yet. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and place all of these here like so. Okay, and I'm not 100% how tall this should be. And let's see here. Where is the center of this? One, two, one, two. Okay, so this is the exact center. So I want to place this bad boy here like so. Uh, I forget I don't have creative flight. That sucks. Okay. And we should, in theory, be able to run cobblestone to these like so. Maybe if we extract out the top. Hmm. Okay, so maybe... Actually, no. Okay, yeah. We'll be fine. Okay, let's go back over here. I think we need to grab a storage drawer. Which is quite unfortunate. Because we're going to have to upgrade it in the future. So we're not going to make a big one. We'll make just a normal one. We won't put any upgrades in it. That way we don't have to worry about too much cobblestone getting lost. But we'll go ahead and eventually we'll switch this over to a more of a custom looking version. Oh, that's great. Okay, so you're filling up with cobble. Are you activated? You're not. Hmm, okay, so it doesn't look like cobble can go in. Does it have to be in the top? I really hope not. Um, you gonna work? Hmm. So it seems to be an issue with the piping. Okay, so we can fix that. All right, so for some reason it wasn't working before, but as you can see, these all work now. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch all of these over to the proper one. Uh, I think it was just a visual glitch, honestly, why we weren't able to put the cobblestone in there before, but like these will drop down and it will go ahead and throw it right in. Um, so this method is going to work, so I'm very excited about that. All right, so let me just show you the basic premise here for all of these. As you can see, we're already making lava. We're not making it very fast, but we are making it. We'll go ahead and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, so we have the torch under here, and as you can see, it says right up in the uh, right above Ex Nilio, up on that little box up above, should be right around here. Um, it says rate times one, and now the different uh, materials we use obviously will improve the rate. Um, so we do have a draconian block. If you guys haven't checked out the beginning part of the series, you won't know anything about it. But if we look over here, there is a draconian block under that one. Uh, so this one here says three times, and that's lava, which is much better. But uh, with the draconian awakened draconian block, uh, that's 120 times. So that is the end goal. We're gonna have to end up using that to create dracon or awakened draconium seeds later on in the series. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't afford to do that now because we don't have the uh, amount of essence needed to do that. Um, so there are a few tiers here though, and I wanna see if we can go ahead back to an older quest and find them. Oh, check this out. Some of the quests have been updated. I updated the pack to the latest one and didn't see the rest of these. That is cool. So if we go here like this, okay, so it says torch is one, lava is three, fire is five, uh, mega torch is 10, okay, so Eulorium blocks. So why don't we go ahead and see if we can make some Eulorium blocks and we're gonna put those underneath and call, like, call that good for a bit. All right, so all we have to do here is just smelt up these Eulorium ingots, which we get from sifting. And because we have this ultimate furnace, we can do this stupid fast. 
So, and I've also found that the it's better to use sticks because they're very easy to come by instead of the super expensive, what are they called? The super expensive flawed out coal blocks because they're not as cheap. So let's go ahead and knock out all of these. All right, so is this at 20? Oh yes, it's at 20. So look here, oh, yep, but they're refilling perfect. That's what we want. And we're actually gonna go ahead, I think we are moving up in the lava production. Go ahead and we're going to, how do we get this to view? Cause I want, I would like to have magmatic generators all along here going beside here. So let me see about doing that and still being able to see the tank. Cause I want to see the status of it. All right, so I've got the generators here and I'd like to throw them all in this line. Now, the reason I want to throw them all in this line is because like if I could easily go down one block blower, lower than this and just we, we would never see the inside of that, which is something I really don't want to do. Uh, and I just realized I never switched over all of these on this side to be insert. So if we switch these over, we should see cobblestone start to pour in. Yep, there they are, perfect. Now I think we are getting a little bit of lag here, which is quite unfortunate, but we'll be okay. All right, so now these things are just cranking out a stupid amount of lava. And if we throw this up here, we should be okay. Now let's run the cable. They still haven't fixed that issue. Okay, so now we gotta break all of this stupid fluid. We're gonna break all of them. So if you don't have everything set up before, like I guess the, the IDs change, and, yeah, and it's a pain. So we're gonna go ahead and set up all of these again so we can get the cobblestone flowing. This is all a trial and error, guys, unfortunately. Let me get it set up. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start filling up from this way. Now, there is no reason to do this, but what it will, actually, you can just flat out fill these up because they're, they're, they're pfft, can't speak. <laughs> There'll be no lava flowing as long as we don't hit this. And as soon as we hit it, they should all link up together. So our lava production is gonna go through the roof now. I guess the only one we won't see like I wanted to in the mid is the middle one, um, which is unfortunate because I wanted to see the cobblestone, you know, being uh, pushed down. Because if you look, you know, they kind of go downward like that and then they pop back up and yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool when you when you think about it. Okay. So let's go ahead and place these here. All right. Actually, I guess we all we need to do is just turn that on for that side and turn this on for this side. Oh, rip. <laughs> I did it again. See, this is just, it's stupid how this works. You can't just auto connect it in. It's very aggravating. Okay, so let's do this one more time. There we go. The reason I did that is because the magmatic generator goes here. And so now we are generating power, except we have no means of collecting it. Why are you not getting inserted? Oh, that's right. There we go. So that's how that one's gonna look as well. So let's go ahead and we're gonna need to make a painter because I do have some conduit covers that I would like to use. So let's see, conduit facade there. So let's look up the painter. Hmm, I think it's a painting machine. Yeah, that's the name of it. And it's just, it's gotta be the tough one, doesn't it? Man, okay. We have some of these left over. If we don't have any of these left over, that's all right. We can easily make them now and throw them together in an induction smelter. What else do we need to make? Okay, so we have the electrical steel. We need to make these though. And now we're waiting for this and it's done. Perfection. Poom, ting, bam. This looks like a good spot. Lead, a lead stone. OK, 
Okay, and let's see here, place it like so. And let's go ahead and grab the painting machine, place it here. Oh, we're gonna need a capacitator. I know it's, I know it's capacitor, but we need a capacitator because I like to say it funny. All right, there we go, and painting. So what do we want to paint these blocks to look like? So all we need is one block, and we can actually paint a glowstone to that color as well, which is super duper cool. But I think we're gonna use the accent block, and yeah, we're gonna use some some marble, or white, white concrete, since we don't have marble. Rip the dream. Okay. Four. Seven, eight. Okay, let's go ahead and see how these look. There's a cow in my farm, there's a cow in my farm. All right, oh, we're flying. Flying high into the sky, because we don't want to die. Ah, that didn't rhyme very well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that looks freaking great. I love it. I love it to bits. So let's go ahead here, and we're actually gonna go ahead and take some glowstone, and we're gonna do this to it as well. All right, so this is painted glowstone. So we're gonna go ahead, I almost I almost thought this was painted concrete glowstone conduit, and I was like, what the heck, why, why does that make sense? That doesn't make sense, it makes nothing. We have, we have started with nothing, and we have now ended with nothing, and I was just confused. I was confused, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, I've only got one. This is this is terrible. We need one more, and we only have one. I really want a wireless crafting grid, but unfortunately, it's stupid expensive on power, which we're going to be able to start generating more of. And I just realized something. We I have just sealed this up, which looks that looks freaking awesome by the way, the green sticking out from under there. I love that. But there is another issue that we I have not thought through. And, oh no. Well, that one. Uh, yeah, that's a one. That's one of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So let's place that here. Okay, so that's back to normal. Yeah, these are full on power, and that's actually our issue. Now, I'd like to check out these alternative wireless things. Actually, here, let's let's have a look. Um, was it them? The energy? No, that wasn't them for wireless. I wonder if Tesseracts are still in here. Are they, is that a thing still? No, nope, Tesseracts are gone. Hmm, I can't think of the name. Oh, Power Cells. That's what they were called. Yep, okay, so we do have Power Cells. Now, I do love using these. Uh, I typically use them in my modern world, but I want to try something else out. And I was, I was checking these bad boys out, these energy transfer notes, and there was a total voice crack there. I hope none of you noticed. Some of you probably did, so don't don't worry, don't mention it. I'm a man. I, I'm a man. Oh, didn't mean to shift click. Rip the dream. Okay. We'll make eight of those because we can, and we should be good. Okay, so we need at least four, um, and we're gonna need some conduits as well. Some energy conduits. How many do we got? We've got two, and it's not going to be enough because we need a better. Okay, what about you? Are you a thing? Eight of you. That's it. That's all we got. Son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Okay, let me go ahead and smelt some of these bad boys up, and I'll be our bees peeps. Actually, while I got you, we're going to, we're just going to make the, the tier two stuff. Let's check this out. Booyah. All right, so we've got a bit of the vibrant alloy made up, so we're gonna go ahead and make the max tier uh, cables for this farm, for from Ender.io anyway, not the max tier cables and all, because uh, we do have better ones back in our system. And I just realized I left my jetpack up there. <laughs> I'm gonna need that for, honestly, I don't know what, uh, but we went ahead and charged it on up. So we're gonna have to sneak our way back into here, which means breaking what we just made. Okay. And we did leave the back open, perfect. And what was that? Okay, I guess that's something. 
Okay, so let's see here if we just run it. Yeah, we can run it like that. Perfect. Oop, I fall down. Okay. Okay. Power. We're just inserting power here. Yep. I don't know what this is. Always on. Detect target block. Uh, hmm. I don't know, I've never used these before, so I, I guess I'm a bit confused, maybe? Let's see. I am stuck, and that is a thing. That is yelling at me, saying that my, I need to re reconnect my drive. That is not disconnected. Anyway, sorry that you guys heard that. Um, so let's see here. Break the induction smelter. Find a location to a GPS marker. Okay, so what's that? GPS marker. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. So we need light blue dye. A. Right, light blue dye. That's just that's just super easy. That's just just easy, right? It's just this and that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So that's easy. We need paper and sticks. Do I have paper? We do have paper. Okay. Oh. Maybe. Let's just use one for now. Let's maybe. Oh, saved. Yes. Yes. Okay, and boom. Does that mean it's transferring power? At a thousand per tick, which would be awesome for a bit. Okay, so let's try to alloy smelt something here. Um, what's tough to make? Okay, we'll just make some more of that, this stuff. More of that, this stuff. That made sense, right? Oh, hold up, can't do that. Um, did you get all made yet? Oh, you did, dang it. Gosh dang it, I'm too good. Uh, so let's just make some Invar. Okay. So maybe that's not how that works. Hmm. Energy transfer node. Okay, so you de do you need two for each? So like one on each side, maybe? Okay, so that's not getting power. So let's get that GPS marker back. And instead of, oop, I need my builder's wand. Thank you, game. We're gonna go ahead and mark this location here and put it in the other one. Maybe you need it both ways. If so, that's kind of stupid. But hey, we're trying out a new mod. Okay, so we save this. And still going down. Maybe if we, hold up. So if you, s okay, this could be actually pretty crazy. So this is the location of the actual, that guy, the induction smelter. So let's have a look. This doesn't work. We'll probably just have to scrap the idea. Oh my gosh, that's how it works. So if you put the power for say the energy cell, right? So if we, oh baby, oh baby. Okay, so. Yeah, that's how it works. So this will literally give it to an exact spot. Induction smelter, it sees it. Oh, that's so cool. 
And that's what it was telling me. It was telling me that it was looking at an energy transfer node. That makes sense now. Okay. And if we go like that. Yep, that is making lava and power. Painted glowstone. Perfect. Okay, so I'd like to use those for a bit. Um, I don't think there are any upgrades for them. Uh, let's look it up. At cyclic. Okay. Um, if I'm being honest, I see spikes. I'm not seeing any upgrades. Which is unfortunate. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Digital typewriter, that could be cool. Ooh, void anvil. Delete enchants off of anything. That's not bad. Remove enchants for a price. Oh, this is where the fans come from. Okay, that makes sense. So it looks like this is just a, uh, like, almost, like, slightly better than vanilla, if that makes sense. So it's like an, not really a, I don't know, it's between a mod and a something. But look, check it out. Conveyor belts, those will be cool. Fire starter, I'm down. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to hit the like button. And if you enjoyed seeing that being made, if you enjoyed that, if you think it looks cool, if you think it's cool that we're powering this... Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you think we could improve this setup with. If you think like, hey, if you vary this up or if you change this, it would work better for you. I would love to know down in the comment section below. Uh, but anyways, guys, please check out tomorrow's episode. It's going to be fun. But I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out. Oh, bye bye I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs>